continues to negatively affect the operations of the Tema oil refinery tour. A statement issued by the Institute said one would have thought that lessons were going to be drawn from the furnace explosion at the Tema oil refinery about 12 months ago. Unfortunately, management of the refinery appear not to have learned any lessons from the January 26, 2017 Incidents that destroyed property and nearly took away lives of the refinery workers, IES, has also attributed some leadership crisis at the refinery, which it says has given rise to some incompetent persons managing the facility. But in a response, to denied their sessions, stating they are mere falsehoods being peddled around as propaganda. Joining me on the phone line this afternoon is Dr. Kinsley Ejibwesiako, the Public Relations Officer of TOR. Good afternoon, Doctor, and thanks for your time. Good afternoon, Wendy. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Now, TOR has denied the accusations, and you have described the IES um, report as uh, falsehood and propaganda. What is the current state of TOR as we speak? Thank you. Um, Wendy, thank you very much. The current state of affairs at all is that we are currently um, refining crude oil into um, finished petroleum products. Um, we resumed production, as we all know, on the 2nd of January. And then, you know, as it is expected of every plant um, that has undergone complete overhaul of our shutdown maintenance, um, you are expected to face a few technical issues here and there. But thankfully, you know, we have a team of competent engineers and technicians that are constantly keeping watch and ready to assist and resolve these problems. So the current state of affairs is that we are currently refining, receiving petroleum products into our storage tanks. And it's, it's the claims by Mr. Richmond Roxon that there is leadership crisis at all is completely unfounded, ma'am. And now you, in your statement, you touched on... Um some tech, some challenges, and did that result in shutting down after a few days? If you um, had gone on a long break and you had mentioned early on that you had put in place the necessary measures to ensure that the refinery works as it should, should that happen? Yes, um, you see, Wendy, um, the refinery, um, just like every processing plant in the world, is not immune to some of these things, you understand? Um, like I said, you know, Tor had already made three cycles of shutdown maintenance. That's close to six, between six to eight years of shutdown maintenance hadn't been done at the Tama Oil Refinery. It was when Mr. Isaac Osei became the MD of Tor that he decided that it was about time, you know, we did um, a complete turnaround maintenance. So that is that explains why we probably prolonged up to the number of months that we spent. Now, when you resume production, you know, especially when a plant that has missed three cycles of shutdown maintenance, when you resume production immediately after that shutdown maintenance, there you, you, you expect to you know, face a few technical hitches here and there. It's, it's, it's a plant. It's just like you know, the, the human, it's not just human beings. There are days that you may not feel well. And like I said, the most important thing is to have a you know, competent team of technicians and engineers ready to resolve these problems, which is what we are doing at all. You know, when they cop up, it is more strange. Refineries and processing plants all over the world go through these things. And I would stress that it is important that we have competent men on standby who are able to resolve these challenges as and when they come. So it is more strange that Tema Oil Refinery, you know, right after coming on the heels of a complete overhaul or turnaround maintenance, might face one or two hitches here and there and resolve it and come back to production. Now, the good news to Ghanaians is that we are currently producing as I'm talking to you. So how that translates into leadership crisis uh, completely beats my mind. You know? All right. And Thank that's where so we smell some kind of mischief you know, in the approach of Mr. Richmond Roxon, who is the principal research analyst. And one would expect that in his capacity as a principal research analyst, you know, he would come to the refinery and then engage the appropriate people. You know, the public affairs is open to, uh, you know, people like himself in the industry and every, everybody else. Thank so you so come. much, Dr. Kinsley Nchibwesiako. He is the public relations officer of the Tema Oil Refinery.